In this video, I will be discussing the scientists, experiments, and results that led to the discovery of the genetic code that we know today. I will be displaying information through drawings and PowerPoint slides. There were three main scientists that participated in discovering the genetic code, and they all had their own contributions, Nirenberg, Matei, and Leder. Nirenberg and Matei were the first to determine that a specific RNA sequence coded for a specific amino acid. They were able to identify three codons. Then, Nirenberg and Leder took it one step further. They were able to identify 61 codons. Now that you know their general contributions, let's dive deeper into their experiments. Phase 1. Nirenberg and Matei. They took a poly U chain, which is simply a string of U's, and added a cell-free extract. This means they took everything out of the cell. Then they put the extract in a tube and added the poly U's. They took this mixture and added each individual amino acid. In each trial, one, ami one amino acid was radioactive. They repeated this 20 times, one time for each amino acid to be radioactive. They did this because they wanted to see if the radioactive amino acid was incorporated into the string of amino acids. Nirenberg and Matei found that phenylalanine was the only amino acid that formed a protein with the poly U chain. So, they repeated the entire experiment three different times with the poly C, poly A, and poly G chain. With these three experiments, they found that poly C chains formed a protein with proline, poly A with lysine, and poly G had no success. So the three codons discovered were UUU for phenylalanine, CCC for proline, and AAA for lysine. Nirenberg decided to give it another shot, but this time with another scientist, Leder. Phase 2. Nirenberg and Leder. In their experiment, Nirenberg and Leder synthesized short mRNAs that had all different codon combos, and then added them to a mixture of ribosomes and tRNAs that attached to the amino acids. The ribosome binds mRNA to their specific tRNAs. They repeated this with a different radioactive amino acid each time to see if it would bind to the ribosome. If the tRNA is bound to the ribosome, then the compound was caught by the nitrocellulose filter paper. If the tRNA did not bind, it would pass through the filter. This was the process they used to discover 61 codons and gave rise to the chart we all know and love today. Here are my sources.